Alrighty, good morning. So this morning, I wanted to tell you why knowing is a disease. But first off, I wanted to tell you a story about myself. I walk into the classroom, my file, my paperwork, I put it down on the desk and the teacher opens it up. She looks at it for about five seconds and then looks back at me and says, you failed. And I look at her and I'm like, what do you mean? And she looks back at me and she says, you failed. And then I say, well, can I do anything about it? And she's like, no. And I look at her in just utter dumbfoundment. And I walk out. My life was over. All those nights I spent two in the morning sipping coffee reading and doing homework all those days at the gym at my groups going to competitions what was it all for what why was I up till two in the morning almost every single night studying and working if this one person could take it all away from me in once in five seconds of glancing at my work she took it all away from me my philosophy at the time if you got an A you did good if you got a B you didn't try hard enough to get an A C and so on but an F an F means it didn't matter enough for you to try. And it was at that moment that I realized none of it mattered enough to try. If one person, if one person could take away four years of work in five seconds, then none of it mattered enough to try. And that's what I knew, that's what I learned at the time of my graduation at high school. And it sent me on a six year downward spiral because that's what I knew. tell you it took me working jobs I hated absolutely hated I worked one job as a dialysis technician we we had to wake up at 2 30 in the morning and then drive a hundred miles an hour to get to work hopefully on time in Las Vegas and then you get to the dialysis and you you clean up blood and you deal with angry people all day and the stress unbelievable 16 hour days on average you leave when the sun's down and you come back when the sun's down again and then people want to try and talk to you and get things from you once you get home and you you poured out your soul at work oh man it wasn't until i read the Tao Te Ching and a whole bunch of other things that I realized that knowing is a disease that it finally made sense to me 
is because the truth is no one knows anything in its entirety what I thought I knew at the time destroyed my life it it kept me parked at that table with my teacher who told me I failed for six years and in my mind there was no point in trying anything there was no reason to do anything Because if someone could destroy four years of my work, four years of my life, and basically the rest of what I thought my life would be in five seconds, then why bother? I thought I was going to be a neurosurgeon. I thought I was going to go to an Ivy League college and you know, make my parents proud of me and prove everyone who said I was stupid wrong. But no. I failed and there was no point in it anymore. If I couldn't achieve perfection then there was no point in anything. It wasn't until I realized that knowing is a disease that all we can do is learn and acquire new information and make the best choices possible but the truth is we don't know anything and because I thought that I knew everything at the time I parked myself there in that classroom with that teacher mentally for six years Once you know that you don't know, you have the ability to learn and to move forward. You accept whatever situation, whatever happens to you in life, you can accept it, learn from it, and move on. You learn new things that help you to move forward in whatever situation you're in. So you have a philosophy. There are two things in life. There is success and education. And you don't learn much from succeeding, but you learn a lot from failure. And the more you learn, the more you can move towards success and education and what you learn you can use to help other people anyway <laughs> this is not financial medical or aloha spirit advice thank you very much for watching Remember to dislike and unsub from the channel, and goodbye.